Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up? Welcome back to the channel and something a little different. So there's not much going on in the way of news for Mortal Kombat. No big updates or anything else, but there is something very interesting that John Tobias posted on Twitter yesterday. He was asked about Shang Tsung, uh, a question about Shang Tsung because it had something to do with his backstory and everything else. And he gave some very in-depth detail about his idea for Shang Tsung's backstory. And I wanted to kind of go over that today because John Tobias, if you guys did not know, he was the writer for MK1, 2, 3, and I think 4. And he's not been uh, the writer for those games since. John Tobias is really the one who kicked off the lore, uh, the big story of Mortal Kombat. Everything that he says about the game is very interesting when it comes to the story because you can tell that he still cares about it. Uh, and he gave some very, very in-depth detail uh, for for his idea of Shang Tsung's backstory that I wanted to go over. Um, he is a great follow on Twitter. He's always posting very in intriguing and interesting stuff about Mortal Kombat, uh, giving some insight on, you know, production and the development of the game and even the story that we don't know. But I just wanted to go through it and give you guys some interesting uh, lore and backstory from the dude who kicked it all off. So let's go ahead and start this. So he was asked a question. He said there's a discussion on the lore of Mortal combat in regards to the invitation of earth's warriors can you offer any knowledge and this is the whole thing so we're going to start at the, we're going to go through it all there's actually a lot but we'll read it all so john tobias said shang sung never chose anyone to compete in the tournament as host he only extended the invitations chosen warriors from each realm were preordained by the elder gods so how did shang sung become a host it was complicated and then we go on Originally, we referred to the tournament as the Shaolin Tournament. It was hosted by the Shaolin who did the extending of invitations because at that time, hundreds of years ago, Earth was doing the winning with the Great Kung Lao as its champion. Here is where it gets complicated. In MK1, the concept of Outworld was not fully developed, but we knew there was another realm competing in the tournament against the interest of Earth to unbalance the Furies, uh, yeah, Furies, and that Shang Tsung was corrupted by its influence. Shang Tsung is not native of Outworld. He is from Earth. I think we all knew this. He competed in the Shaolin Tournament as a representative of Earth and was its grand champion for a short time. It was during his reign that he gave into Outworld's influence and switched sides. In my mind, Shang had a complex past. He was born of dual realms, one parent from Earth and the other from Outworld, enabling him to cross realms and ultimately choose his allegiance. This made him a target for outworld corruption and a precarious representative for Earth. Shang Tsung's soul stealing power was meant to imply that he literally sold his soul in exchange for the immortality that he enjoys. That power was granted to him by Shao Kahn in exchange for his traitorous actions against the Shaolin tournament hosts and Earth itself. But the Shaolin had an answer with the great Kung Lao who was able to defeat Shang Tsung. Humiliated and now a traitor to his home realm, Shang disappears for many years. Presumably he goes to Outworld where he plots his revenge. Shang eventually returns to the tournament, but this time he brings out world a Shokan Prince Goro to compete. The Great Kung Lao is defeated and Shang becomes host of the tournament that he once lost as a competitor. The above was never explicitly detailed in the old game, so it was implied in the first couple of pages of the original MK Collector's Edition comic book and the follow-up MK2 comic book. Shang is a great villain, but dig deep and he may have also been a very tragic hero. It's a compelling story that I wish we had explored further. Maybe they did slash will in later games. Now this is all very interesting. You know, I love following Mr. Tobias on Twitter because, I mean, a post like this comes like once a week from him. Uh, we get some very, very in-depth background into like the first few games and the story that they really wanted to do but never did for the first few games. And John Tobias, you know, he's a genius when it comes to all that. He was the uh, reason, in my opinion, that Mortal Kombat kicked off. You know, every every great game uh, that that is surviving in today's age has a good story, especially fighting games. I mean, look at Street Fighter, look at Tekken. You know, all of those games that are still around, they survived because it's not only a fighting game, it has a great story behind it. And uh, Shang Tsung, of course, even to me, has always been one of the more interesting characters in Mortal Kombat. He's got a great story behind him, and this, you know, little, I mean, just these few sentences 
sentence is like this paragraph a backstory that we really didn't know and a lot of people didn't know unless you read the mk collector's edition comic book and the follow-up like he said mk2 comic book because nether realm hasn't really went in depth with that story since you know the reboot for mk9 uh like he said i hope they do uh, i hope they have uh i hope they will explore uh his tragic backstory in one of the future mortal kombat games but this is some very interesting lore to to have i don't think it's something that's really been written anywhere um that we really knew about you know he said the above was never explicitly detailed in the old games uh it was implied in the first pages of the original mk you know collector's comic book and the mk2 follow-up so it's never really been written or you know said to my knowledge at least unless it's been said in an interview and it's just some really really cool lore and backstory to have you know i'm a lore guy i'm a backstory guy um i i love fighting games i'm a competitive fighting game player um but at the same time the story is what makes it good getting connected to the characters is what really really makes you love a fighting game finding that character who you love not only the move set for but the story for is uh, a difficult thing to do in a fighting game that doesn't have a story and i think that's why mortal kombat has always been so popular is because they all have stories and most of them are pretty damn good and i wish Don john tobias was still writing these games and uh doing this lore because you can tell the man was passionate about it and still is passionate about it and you know just has a lot of really good ideas when it comes to these characters um but hey maybe they will use some of that maybe they'll use some of that in uh, one of the next few games it looks like aftermath uh has you know shang sung in focus uh which could lead into mk12 so maybe we'll get some more uh backstory for shang maybe he'll be the main villain again and we'll get some good backstory for him be very interesting to actually see like his beginnings and uh see him as the champion for the shaolin tournament and like see his his downfall from being a good guy that'd be very interesting to see but i want you guys to let me know what you think about this leave that in the comments down below what do you think about this little piece of uh lore that we just got from john tobias i love uh, again link in the description down below to john's twitter uh very 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 interesting dude uh, i love everything he posts and especially when it comes to mortal kombat i did some of my research for fighting game history by looking at his twitter and some of the things that he talked about uh you know some of the questions that he would answer so link in the description down below to his twitter he's a guy i'd like to have a conversation with man he's a guy i'd like to do a podcast with and just talk mortal kombat but again let me know what you guys think about this video in the description uh, comments down below let me know what you think about this lore let me know what you think about shang sung do you think they should go this route with the character and further develop him develop him and give us some uh further insight into his backstory like mr tobias did let me know uh also huge shout out to my supporters thank you all for supporting the channel you guys are awesome thank you for supporting on twitch patreon here on youtube uh and just everybody who subscribes to the channel you know thank you guys so much for getting close to 10k but that's gonna do it for me i've been your host my name is Keaton, and i'll see you guys next time peace out